day. Welcome to our math class. For today's lesson, we have standard form of quadratic equation. So, tapos na tayo dun sa una nating topic, which is about quadratic equation or not quadratic equation. So, here, pag-usapan natin ay about sa standard form of a quadratic equation. So, ito yung standard form na quadratic equation. So, kailangan yung matutunan to dahil later on in solving quadratic equation, uh, makakatulong tong standard form. At kailangan alam nyo itong standard form. Dahil gagamitin nyo ito sa mga steps in solving quadratic equation. So, ibig sabihin kapag hindi nyo nalaman tong standard form, so may hirapan kayong mag-solve ng quadratic equation. For today, we're just going to identify if the given is standard form or not in standard form. Ito yung standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Ngayon, ang lagi kong ginagawa during the normal face-to-face. -face. So, lagi ako nagbibigay ng mga conditions para madaling matandaan kung ang given ba is standard form or not. So, ang unang condition para mat madaling matandaan kung ang given ay standard form or not. So, dapat equal to 0 siya. So, that is the first condition. So, titingnan nyo yung quadratic equation at dapat equal to 0 siya. Therefore, kung ang given quadratic equation is not equal to 0, we can conclude that it is not yet in standard form. So, that is the first condition. It must be equal to 0. And take a look at the left part. The second condition is here. Na dapat natin satisfy. So, ano ang napapansin nyo about the arrangement of the terms? Pagdating sa exponent or pagdating sa exponent ng variable. Kung mapapansin ninyo, Ang exponent ng variable ay descending order. So, in short, the second condition is para matawag nating standard form, so dapat ang degree ng kada term ay in descending order. Or yung exponent dapat ng variable ay pababa. So, here in ax squared, kung mapapansin natin, ang degree or ang exponent ng variable ay 2. So, ang pangalawang term, ang equation or rather ang exponent ng variable ay 1. And here, so wala na tayong variable, ang exponent dito ay of course 0. So, we have ang degree is 2, 1, 0. So, wag malilito ha. Kasi baka nakikita nyo na, sir, ano yung ABC? E di ba variable yon Di ba pag sinabi natin letter variable? So not all the time, of course. Ang variable lang natin dito ay yung X. A, B, and C is a representation of numbers. So yung A at B is representation of the numerical coefficient and C is the representation of the constant. So it's weird to say na itong letters na to ay numbers. So, medyo weird siya pa yan, pero that's the, the truth about it. So, ang variable lang dito ay yung x. Okay? So, review lang natin again. Re recap ng mabilisan. So, ang dalawang condition to know if the given standard form is number one condition, it must be equal to zero. And the other one is the degree of each term must be in descending order. So, ang degree is 2, 1, 0. So, ganun lang kadali. Okay. Let's have examples of standard form. So, and then anal analyze natin kung standard form nga talaga. Baka mamaya, eh, may magkamali tayo dito sa part na to. So, we have here 5x squared minus 11x plus 2 equal to 0. Number 1 condition, equal to 0 ba? Yes. Descending order ba ang degree ng term? Yes. So, we have here 2, 1, and 0. Ang exponent ng variable ay 2. Dito ay 1. And of course, we don't have variable. So, of course, we don't have exponent for the variable here. So, 0. So, ito ay standard form. 
Next, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. So again, equal to 0, check. Descending ba? Check then. We have 2, 1, 0. And last one, 2x squared plus 1 equal to 0. Para dun sa mga ngayon pa lang uh, matututunan yung quadratic equation, especially standard form, ito ba ay naka-standard form? Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, ang standard form natin ay may 3 terms. So, kailangan ba 3 terms din? Eh, bakit nakalagay siya sa standard form? Ito po ay standard form pa rin. Um, hindi naman ibig sabihin na kapag standard form ay kailangan tatlo ang terms. So, hindi. Pwedeng dalawa, pwedeng isa. Basta ang mahalaga, hindi mawawala yung quadratic term. Okay? So, ito ay standard form pa rin. Check natin yung dalawang condition. Number 1 equal to 0. And then, itong part na ito yung medyo tricky din eh. Descending order ba ang degree ng term? Yes. Ito yung quadratic term natin. Ito yung hindi pwedeng mawala. Because we are talking about quadratic equation. So, ang degree nito ay 2. Ang degree nito ay 0. Descending order ba? Yes. Kasi pababa siya. Hindi naman sinabing kailangan magkakasunod. So, kaya ito ay standard form pa rin. So, therefore, for example, if we have here x squared equal to 0, still standard form pa rin yan. So, ito ay degree of 2 pa rin naman. And of course, wala na siyang kasama. Standard form pa rin yan. So, if we have um, another here x squared minus 1 equal to 0, still standard form pa rin yan. Next, ano naman yung mga example ng not in standard form? So, we have here 9 plus 2x squared minus 4x equal to 0. If we're going to take a look at this example, na-satisfy niya yung isang condition which is equal to 0. But, it's not enough for us to say na ito ay nasa standard form because hindi naka-descending order itong part na to. So, ito ay 0. Ang degree niya, ito ay 2. Ito ay 1. Hindi siya standard form kasi dapat descending order. Next, we have x squared plus 10x minus 100 equals to 14. Another quadratic equation which is not in standard form. Obviously, ito lagi yung una natin titignan. Not equal to 0 automatic, hindi na siya standard form. Well, kung titignan din naman natin yung left part, naka-descending naman. But, it's not equal to 0 automatic, not standard form. Same with the other examples. So, not equal to 0, not standard form. So, not equal to 0, not standard form. But, what if, for example, ito ay... Kung gawin ko tong 0, standard form na ba siya? Yes. Kasi equal to 0 and then descending descending yung um, degree. So, 2 and then 1. So, ito ay magiging standard form na kung 0 ito. But, kanina hindi naman siya 0. For example, gawin natin 1. So, hindi na siya standard form. So, what if ito? Gawin natin um, equal to 0. And by the way, kung mapapansin nyo, um, ito ay special case. Okay? Kasi, mukha siyang hindi quadratic equation, but we can transform this into quadratic equation. So, I'm going to leave this first behind, so for you to think. So, kayo ang mag-find out for you to discover kung paano to magiging quadratic equation. But, this is not yet in standard form. Okay? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.